Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today we are on part two, finishing up the box of Echoes of the New World. Sorry, I just have too much fun with that uh, voice effect, so. All right, so let's jump back in with the rest of these packs and see what we can find. We've already had a few good pulls, so I'm curious to see what else we can uh, find in this box. Hopefully a couple more full arts. Hopefully our luck didn't run dry on the, the first part. Oh, that's our rare. Oh, Ultimate Swordsmaster Farah. Very cool. And just a non-foil though. Severing Winds non-foil. We got the nice version of this last time in a full art. And then behind, ooh, ooh yeah. Very nice. A foil wind magic stone. And we saw from the last video, these are actually worth like a buck. Just the normal version. So I think the foil is like three bucks or something, which is pretty sick. Not a bad way to start, so I'll take it. Let's keep going, we got a little pumpkin man, kind of fitting. And since, when am I uploading this? Is it gonna be Halloween? I don't even know. It'll be at the end of the week. Uh, Persia, ready for the final battle, is our rare. We got a darkness magic stone, and behind it we've got blue planet, blue, blue planet foil, uncommon. Next pack, let's get into it. Ooh, that's a cool foil. I like all the characters in that one. All right, spirit, leaf, flute, Blah, blah, blah. Alar, Swords Master, Swordsman of the Dusk. All right, fair enough. Light Magic Stone. And then Hetrioclit Excalibur. Hetrioclit Excalibur. All right, it's a super rare. Looks pretty dope. Be doper in a full art, that's for sure, but still pretty sweet. On to the next. Let's get into it here. We got the Cheshire's Cat Assistance as our nice foil common. Very nice. We're going in to Lumia praying for the future as our rare. Want to get the full art uh, of her? That'd be really nice. Blazing Floating Castle Refarth Uncommon. Bleh. Keep it going. Let's see what we got here. Leaf. A little leaf. Foil leaf. A nice fairy. Oh, I haven't seen that artwork. Uh, if I see it again, I'll stop on it. Valentina the Crumbling Illusion as our rare. Behind it, ooh, we got Dark Alice. All right, that's nice. Not a foil, though. Bit unfortunate, super rare. Uh, manif manifestation of Rage. All right, and then a foil light magic stone on the end. You can never complain about getting an Alice. Usually they're decently priced. Now, obviously, the foils are gonna go for more, uh, but you never know. I I'll have to look that one up. We got Machinima, King of the Accursed Machines as our rare. A water magic stone, and behind it we got a, I think we got this last time, a foil of Resurrected Calamity. Pretty cool card. Kind of confusing artwork. All right, time for a good big hit. We've gotten some super rares, non-foil. It's time for a nice full art super rare, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's call it right now. Charlotte Last Hope of Atrashia as our rare. And we got a Resonator Flying Dragon Token. There it is. Look at that. We've got the Heteroclit, Heteroclite, I don't know how you say it, Excalibur. Yeah, this is pretty sick artwork for a full art, that's for sure. Way better than the just regular foil version. All right, into the next, we've got an Ancient Bauble. Ancient Bauble. And more of these dudes. We've got Red Riding Hood as our rare rainbow to the heavens. Pretty sick. Art, good artwork on that one, I like it. A Wind Magic Stone, there you go, buck right there, perfect. And then we've got Alahazred Sinister Vizier as our rare foil. We already got a full art of him, and he's not worth crap. All right, next one, let's go. Got some cool looking cards. I wanna get it now. I wanna get a full art of her. She'd be sick. Uh, detachment, and uh, there he is again. He's not gonna worth be worth anything. All right, Star Fragment as another rare that we got. And then we got, ooh, all right, all right. Our nice rare Resurd King of the Damned as a full art rare. It's pretty sick, pretty sick. I'm not a huge fan of Resurd, but uh, some of the artwork looks pretty dope. I'm a fan, this one looks pretty nice. All right, breaking into the next one. There we go, our little sprite who actually, this little sprite is worth like a few cents. I don't think I put it on the last video, but it can go for like 70 cents or something, which is pretty crazy, but I don't think I worried about including, including, including it. All right, we got Gaiuga, Love of the Moon as our rare. 
And then we've got a light magic stone, and then ba-bam, we've got Vamir Atawalu. I don't know how to say it, but it's just an uncommon, but some sweet artwork. I can't speak today. I can't speak today. Words are not coming to me. All right, whenever I want to sit down to record, that's what happens, right? Resurrected Calamity, non-foil, and then we got Neo Barrier of Shadows on common. I'm pretty sure these Barrier of Shadows, if they're foil, can be worth something. Not a ton, but they might be worth a little bit. At least that's what I've seen from other sets. I know some of the other sets have Barrier of Shadows, and it can be a little bit valued, depending on which one you have. Um, let's see, Makayaj, Patriarch of the Vampires, as our rare. Another Wind Magic Stone, ba-boom, a buck. And then we've got Successor of the Future, Foil. Sick, that's a nice super rare to get, all right. All right, I need the full art zero, come on. Can we find it? We already got a foil, regular version, but can we find the full art? Am I gonna call it again, like last time? Marabella, True Shot, we got a Shadow Token, Behind it, Dimension Brigade Leader Albert as our J-Ruler. All right, cool. I know you can get an Uber Rare of him. I don't know how much he's just valued on his own. Let's take a look at the reverse. Some lame looking artwork on the reverse. His flip side with the foiling definitely looks way cooler. Nice pull, don't know how much he is. All right, so we got two J-Rulers out of this box so far. There's a nice foil flute dragon. Maybe I'll look that one up. Maybe that'll be like a buck by itself, who knows. All right, Gale Force, Neo Barrier of Shadows. We got our rare Shining Demon Mistopheles. Oh, that's a different Mistopheles than what we're used to seeing. Something happened to him. He turned into a crazy looking demon, I guess. And then we got Gil Lapis, Vizier of Maddening Power as our super rare, but it's not, it's not a foil. For a second, I thought maybe, uh, but our foil is a beautiful looking time altering magic stone. Look at the foiling on that. That is really lovely. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. If you haven't noticed, I'm a little biased to wanting to get foils of like the character cards because they just look sick and I'm a fan of the artwork. So that's why like with cards like the time altering magic stone, it's like, yeah, that's dope looking. I just hope it's worth something. <laughs> All right, Red Riding Hood, uh, Rainbow to the Heavens again, same as what we've got before. Another super rare non-foil, Dawn of the Earth. Oh, oh, sick. Yes, we got one of the, like, they're like a secret rare. Uh, they're a variant card, basically. Cayuga, Love of the Moon, it's her variant, cool looking. I, I don't even know the proper name for it, but it, they've got these variants of uh, some of the girls with, like, different instruments so they can make, like, a anime girl band thing uh but uh yeah this goes for a few bucks for sure and look at that Ooh, that foil that foiling oh i love the foiling and force of will look at how nice that card looks that is a great pull i'm super happy with that and that and for other reasons is why i bought a second box of this mother trucker yeah i got another box of echoes of the new world because i just love the cards in this set so if you're interested in seeing more of this set being opened make sure to leave a like and comment below and let me know. All right, that was a pretty good way to go out, I feel like, and we're only got three packs left here, so I don't know if we're gonna get anything else super good. That's pretty good already, you know what I mean? Mistopheles, again, we're starting to see those repeats. Let's see if I can get this name right. Hit, hit, hetero, hit, hit, you know what? I sat here for 30 seconds trying to do it, and I'm just not even gonna bother. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, we got new Barrer! We got new Barrer! Oh, it finally happened! It finally happened, and it's a J Ruler! It's Flute, Time Altering Priestess, Uber Rare! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we got new Barrer! Oh my goodness! Oh, am I shaking? I'm shaking a little bit. We got it. Oh, we got an Uber Rare. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. What does this go for? Boom. There it is. You'll see it right there. Oh, we just got an Uber Rare. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just take a moment. Oh, I finally pulled one. Yes. <laughs> It took so long. Oh, all these boxes. I finally got an Uber Rare. This has been 
such a phenomenal box. Holy crap, now I'm like shaking, now I'm getting it. Oh, whoo, okay, okay, all right. I gotta get a sleeve for that. I gotta get a sleeve, get in there. Nice, perfect fit sleeve for extra protection. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, leave a like, subscribe, please. We've been trying to get this uber rare forever, man. Oh, and I'm still gonna keep searching for them. Eh, but this is the first one I got. This is the first one. So please leave a like, share the video. I really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's just get through the rest of this freaking box. This amazing freaking box. Echoes of the New World has a new special place in my heart. Oh my goodness. Do I even care? Is there anything even left? Oh, we get another zero. It's great. Oh, we get Narlethotep, the realized truth. Fantastic. I love these cards, man. And the Darkness Magic Stone Foil, which uh, I think might be like 70 cents or something like that. But the other version is definitely the more expensive one. Okay, last pack. Last freaking pack. I'm so happy. Holy freaking crap. Dude, we got Viola, Vengeful, Ebon Dragon, and then we got Alice. Girl of the Blue Planet as our super rare non-foil though, unfortunately, and a Star Fragment rare foil. Very, oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, pulls of the week, holy cow. We got a nice foil wind magic stone that everybody seems to like. Our time altering magic stone, uh, I'm hoping this one's gonna be worth a few bucks. I, I mean, it's just beautiful, right? I had to put it in here. I don't even know if it's gonna be valued anything. And Rezard, our full art Rezard, King of the Damned, our new J ruler, Albert, what is his name? Aldo, blah, 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 whatever, Brigade's leader. Who cares? We don't care about that because we got Kyoga, Love of the Moon, Variant Edition. <sighs> Man, and you guys know what's next. Our freaking Uber Rare. Oh my gosh. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Price is up on screen for how we did this week in part two. I think we did phenomenally well because these two cards right here are probably about like 50 bucks by themselves at least. I, I'm thinking she's maybe like 40, maybe 60. This has got to be like eight to five to ten. I don't know. So we did fan freaking tastic. If you haven't checked out part one, we did really good too. Go check out part one if you haven't. And uh, price is up on screen for how we did all together on the box. Reminding you, I only paid like thirty dollars for this box. So price is up on screen for how we did in the entire box. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, please subscribe, trying to hit the 1K mark. I'd appreciate it if you share the video. This one's worth a share, cause that is freaking dope. I finally got it, let's go. I'll leave you on that. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.